Two new COVID vaccines have been added to the list New Zealanders could get if they pass all their trials and tests. The government's made deals with the British company AstraZeneca and the US firm Novavax to buy enough jabs to cover 9 million people. Added to the existing Pfizer and Janssen deals, 15 million people could be covered. And it revealed some scenarios about how the vaccine might be rolled out, perhaps from April next year. Health correspondent Rowan Quinn reports. Four government ministers descended on Auckland University for the announcement today, checking out some of the COVID work being done there. The four vaccines now in the country's kitty are all from the Northern Hemisphere. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern says they're keeping their options open. We've secured vaccines across three different technology platforms to ensure we have diversity across the types of vaccines available. We've secured sufficient vaccines to cover the realm of New Zealand, Tokelau, Nui, the Cook Islands, and our Polynesian neighbours, Samoa, Tonga and Tuvalu, should their governments wish to take these up. The AstraZeneca vaccine uses new RNA technology similar to the kind being used by Pfizer. It's had mixed results in trials, including accidentally underdosing people and finding that was actually more effective. The US firm Novavax has funding from its government's Operation Warp Speed and is making a vaccine based on COVID spike protein. Jacinda Ardern says there's no guarantee they'll work. If some of the vaccines do not prove to be successful, we have an insurance policy by buying across different types of vaccine technology. All the options will also have to get MedSafe approval. That process has already begun for Pfizer. It's likely to be at least the second quarter of 2021 before any vaccinating begins, with border workers and the most at-risk health workers first in line. COVID-19 Response Minister Chris Hipkins says the logistical work is well underway. We have uh, all of the consumables that we think uh, will be needed, including additional PPE, syringes and so on, uh, on order. Some some of them have already arrived in the country and they'll be arriving in the country progressively over the next few months. But the giant super cold freezers needed for the Pfizer vaccine have been caught up by Auckland's port problems. Their entry into the country delayed until the new year. The government's also revealed some of its plans for distribution, although with no firm dates. If there's community transmission, close contacts of people with the virus would go to the front of the queue. But it could be the end of 2022 before everyone who wants a jab gets one. The Prime Minister says work's been done to avoid previous problems with the rollout of flu and measles vaccinations. This will be a very rigorous centralised programme. You've already heard we'll have the ability to track where our vaccines are across the country. We'll also have a National Health Immunisation Register Previously, that hasn't been available in New Zealand either. Auckland University vaccinologist Helen Petusis harris has been critical of rollouts in the past but likes the look of this plan and she's excited about the new products. But with all the vaccines, there's a big question that won't be known until they're widely in use. Stopping the virus um, you know, in the lower respiratory tract um, is great and can and stop you getting really sick but if it doesn't actually stop you carrying the virus in your upper respiratory tract tract you could still actually um, transmit it and, and that's kind of the key. And the Prime Minister says effectiveness against transmission will be one consideration when the government talks about opening the borders again but any decision is still a long way away. Mō te hōtaka o te ahi ahi, ko Rowan Quinn